Hello guys, Mike here from IC Sheets. In this one, I will show you how to get a thousand gamer score for the game Scorn. We have 12 achievements and we will do them all in around two and a half hours along the full playthrough. We will skip the cutscenes and fast forward the walking parts so the guide can be as short as possible. Do not forget to like and subscribe and if you are ready, let's dive into the game. Press the A button, calibrate your brightness and then new game. After the cutscenes, left button to sprint and go through the left tunnel. Here turn right. And then open the door using the A button. Turn right as you look at the door and interact with the pipe-like device to get the first key. Turn right and interact with the central device with the new acquired key. And then interact with the left side and then with the right. Hold B to exit and sprint through the door that just opened because it is closing back. Make a right and then a left and use the elevator. Straight ahead and interact with the console on the right. Grab by holding the A button and move the eggs. Follow my moves to get the puzzle done. Switch to the device in the middle and interact with it. Back to the console on the right, get the second egg following my moves. Switch to the middle device one more time and interact. Turn around and use the elevator. Make a right and follow the rail. Interact with the second console along your way. Grab the egg and then lower it and place it. Turn around and climb. Interact with the machine up top and interact with the bottom rails left and right. Exit Climb down and interact with the cart and start pushing it. Interact with the device here and continue to push the cart.
in this room, interact with the right console. Grab the egg. Move it to the right side. Place it. And exit. And then interact with the device. Finally, interact with the creature and the 001 extraction achievement will pop. After that, we will pause and load the game from the last checkpoint in order to do another achievement. This is the only time we are doing this as all other achievements are story related. Back in the same area, we'll go right, left and use the elevator. Forward and interact with the console on the right. Get the first tag. Switch to the middle device and interact. And then back to the console and get the second deck. Back one more time to the middle device, interact, and then turn around. Use the elevator, make a right, and follow the rail. Second console. Get the egg from above. and place it down. Turn around and climb. Use the device, but this time only interact with the bottom left rail. Exit and climb down and start to push the cart. Interact with the device. And continue to push the cart. Interact with the console on the right and grab the egg. Place it in the chair. And then interact with the device. Grab the creature's hand and the 002 hand-in-hand -hand achievement will pop. Turn left and follow this tunnel. Downstairs here and interact with the pipe-like device to get the key for the hand that we just took from the creature. Turn back up the stairs and interact with the left device
and then with the right one to open the door. Head through the door and ride the elevator. Continue forward, circle the center right or left, and step on the pressure plate. Grab the first weapon. We shall use this mainly to open doors, and sometimes to kill enemies. Turn around, and here make a right. Follow the path and interact with the device using the weapon. Go forward and kill 4 enemies along your way. You have to be fairly close. Apart from these ones, we will try to avoid killing other enemies with this weapon as it is kinda hard to master the close range combat. Interact with the console. Move the pod to the left. and interact to grab the capsule. And move it in the hole. Go back. Use the weapon again on the device to get the second capsule. Back again through the field of enemies and this time kill 3. First interact with the device on the right to free the pod. and then with the console to grab the capsule and deliver it in the second hole. Another device popped so we'll interact with that to free the pod. Back again to the console for the last capture in the last hole. One more device pops. We'll interact with it. And the 003 hazardous occurrence achievement will pop somewhere between the cutscenes. After that, we have to take a long walk through some sort of a desert. Slight right. Slight right again through the archway. Slide left and another archway. Right and then along the structure. Enter here.
do a 180. Right. Interact with the entrance. And right. Right again and follow the path. Interact with the dead body on the left to get a key. And introduce it here. We are upgrading it. Rotate bottom left, interact. Rotate bottom right, interact. Rotate top right, interact. And rotate middle top, interact. And that upgrades the key. Go back and make a right here. Place the key here. Go left. Call the elevator. Ride it. And then turn left. Make a right. Right again, through the tunnel, interact and choose to make this bridge. Make a right here and then left, then right and on the left interact with every socket to turn off the fan and turn back. A parasite will jump on your character and after the cutscene the 004 close encounter achievement will pop. Go right Then left, right, and down, and right through the stopped fan. Left three times, and upgrade the key once more. This time the sockets are moving, but they stop in certain positions. Wait in those positions and interact when the sockets match. Bottom left. Middle top, bottom right, and middle top to finish. Turn right and ride the elevator. Interact on the right with the pipe to get a new key and open the door with the weapon. Forward, left, and then right, and ride the elevator on the left. Turn left and make two rides, then through the tunnel, and this time Interact and choose to make this bridge. Make a right and interact with the device to upgrade the key again. Same mechanic as the last time. Bottom left. Top right. Top left and middle top. Turn around and go straight. 
move the body and interact with the device. Move the arms two times to the right and interact. Turn around again. Make a right. And choose to make this bridge. One more key upgrade on the right. Top right. Bottom right. And you actually can't see the third, but you can hear its click. And when you do, with the key rotated in the bottom left position, press A. Then middle top to finish. Go back. Make the left bridge. Then make a left and take the elevator down. Turn left and interact here to insert the key. And then again here for the puzzle. Follow this sequence. Two down and one left. Four up and one left. Four down and one left. 2 up and 1 left, and 2 up. Then, interact with the device in front. You will get a new key. You will get an item that stores health and ammo for later, and the 005 key possessions achievement will pop. Turn right, and then make a left and use the new acquired key to open this door. This is near the dead body from which we have gotten the key that we upgraded a couple of times. Go through it and keep a slight left. Make a right here. Right again. And one more time and open another door. Ride the elevator. A small cutscene and on the left you will find a device that fills the new acquired item with health pods. Make sure to use them wisely. There are not that many devices like this in the game. Turn left. Make a right. And use the key again. Then right, left, and key one more time. Then ride another elevator. Go straight. Make two rights. Upgrade the key, two lights. And go back. Left, left and forward. Make a right here and use the upgraded key.
Wait for the enemy to crawl into his hole and then pass. As I said, we try to avoid as much as we can. Go forward and use the weapon here. Do the same in the other room. An enemy has spawned, but once again we avoid by running in the first room and using the weapon again. Turn right and this time we won't be able to avoid the enemy. Luckily this is a small one that requires only 2 hits. The weapon only has 2 hits until it needs to recharge. You can check that bottom right. And as you can see I missed one of my first 2 hits so I had to wait for the weapon to recharge. RB to heal with one of the health pods. And then left. Left two more times. Right two more times. And left. And interact with the device. This will move the sphere. Then jump into it after another small cutscene. Wait for it to open and get off. Go right and interact with another device. Go left, make a left, and right, right again, one more right, And left. Right. Left 180. Right. And follow the path. Interact with the device. Avoid the enemy. This is a middle sized one and it requires around 4 hits to kill. And go right. Make a right. Left. Heal. And get some health. Turn left. And make a right. Sprint here as there are some enemies lurking around. Right two times. Avoid this one as well. We took a bit of a hit, but fighting him will probably have damaged us more. Right. Left. Avoid again an enemy. Right. Left. And interact with another device. Two middle-sized enemies. Avoid them and go right. Make a right. And then a left. And interact with the first part of the device. Turn left and make two rights. Use the sphere to cross. When it reaches the floor you are currently on. Right. And left. And get the second weapon. Finally, a gun. Turn around and get ammo. Reload the weapon, X button. Heal. And kill the enemies. One middle sized one and two small ones.
interact with the device here. Interact left three times. Middle five times. Right four times. Middle four times. Right three times. And middle four times. And then get the key. Turn left. Make a left. And one more. Through the sphere. Left two times. And insert the key in the second part of the device to unlock another floor. Back to the sphere. Wait for it to go one level down. And exit. Make a right. Sprint to avoid enemies. And right again. Take some health. And interact with the device for another puzzle. Top five times. Bottom three times. Left four times. Bottom four times. Grab the key. And turn left and avoid the enemies when returning to the sphere. Get out at the top level and go back to the device, left and left. Insert the key in the third part to unlock the bottom floor. Use the sphere and get out at the bottom floor. Make a left and interact with the device. Turn right and follow the sphere. Make a right and interact with the console. Grab the sphere and move it to the right. Exit and interact with the device in front and back at the console to release the sphere. Go near the sphere and interact with this device and the 006 path for our constructed achievement will pop. Go and board the sphere. Get out and make a right. Small cutscene. Right. And get some ammo. Reload. Get some more ammo if you have space. Turn back. And make a right. Right again. Left. Kill the small sized enemy. And 
and left. Switch to the first weapon, D-pad left, and use it here. Switch to the gun, D-pad up. We will encounter a big sized enemy which requires 5 to 6 shots to die. So make sure your gun is fully reloaded and also that you are healed and go forward. One bullet went in the middle sized enemy on the wall. So I had to reload. Continue the path and make a left here. Then use the first weapon again. Turn left and continue. Make the second right and another one here. One more and ride the elevator. Turn right and use the weapon again here. Turn left and ride the elevator back down. Turn right, go forward, and make a left here. Kill the big sized enemy with a close combat weapon. He won't touch you through the gate. Then open the door with a weapon here. Turn left. Upgrade the key. Three lights. Get some ammo. Turn left, open the gate, and go back to the elevator. Turn left and use the key. Continue. A small cutscene. And ride the sphere. Kill the tentacle and the small frog and then reload again because you will have another big sized enemy encounter. Follow the path and kill it. Reload again and continue. Use the elevator. Move forward. And as you reach this zone, the 007 at the lowermost point achievement will pop. Avoid enemies. Climb up here. And interact with the device. Press A one more time. Turn around. Climb down and kill the small enemy. Continue forward and interact with the device. Turn around and go on this path. Make a left. Climb up and go straight. Climb down and circle. And get the second gun. This is a bigger one. Turn around for ammo. And 
and reload. Switch to the small gun, D-pad up, and reload as well. Heal. And switch back to the big one, D-pad right. Turn left, and you will fight a big sized enemy. With this gun, you only need 2-3 shots. Reload. Ride the elevator. Turn around. Make a right. Ignore the enemies. Keep left. Kill another big guy. Switch to the small gun and kill two more enemies. Heal if necessary. And go up. Left 180. Upgrade the key and return down to open the door. Make two lefts and reach another device. Interact and press A. Turn back for some health. Turn left, continue straight. Kill the enemy. And do a 180 when climbing down. Use the key here and make two rights. Interact with the device and go back up. Left. And left again. Small cutscene, climb down. And continue straight. Make a left, use the key. and ride the elevator. Wait for the enemy to leave. And use the first weapon here. Turn around. You will pass a big guy. Let him be and ride another elevator. Turn around for another device. Press A. Turn left. Get ammo. And reload everything. Equip the big gun. Move forward. Kill the big sized enemy. Another one will come from behind, but we will skip it. Ride the elevator. Reload. Kill another big one. Some small. Heal and get health. Make a right here 
interact with the device and go back up. Make a right. Avoid the enemy. Make a right again. Down and interact finally with this device. Move the circle in this position, then press A. Move it here and press A. Move it top and A. Two rights and A two times. Up, left, left and A two times. Then left and down. Climb the stairs and make a left. Make a right, slight left, small cutscene, and interact with the device to start the train. Onboard the train, and because you have reached this point, the 008 station to station achievement will pop. Go straight. Up the stairs, make a right, then slide left. Left, and left again. Climb down and interact with the second device to get a vial. Climb down and continue straight and interact with the device to place the vial. Continue. Go right. Get ammo. Heal. Reload. Change to the first weapon. Turn around. Get health. Turn around and get one head. Go straight and insert it in a humanoid and kill it with the first one. Take the dead head, turn around. and interact where you left the vial. Take the vial, turn around and put it in the left device. You will get the vial back, so go back put the vial back here and continue. Switch to the big gun and take the second head. Turn around and put it in the humanoid. This is the boss fight. However, if you know how to tackle it, it is not that hard. Simply dodge his grenades Around after 9 or so, he will take a break to reload. Shoot one of the two red vulnerable parts, which are now exposed. If you need, you can heal. Repeat the process. And then reload. Each part must be shot two times. So repeat the process two more times. After that he will fall down, switch to the small gun.
interact with its weapon. And he will come back to life for phase 2. All you have to do here is get close to him and when you do that he will uncover his belly and try to hit you. As he does that the head will be exposed, so shoot it. After 2 shots he is done for. Grab the weapon. and the dead head and go to where the vial is. And interact. Go back, small cutscene. Step on the pressure plate and fire a grenade with the weapon we've got from the boss. Grab the last head and put it in the humanoid. If you want, from the previous boss, you can get more ammo. The same here, wait for him to reload. and fire a grenade in his backpack, and that's it. Grab the dead head, and go to the vial. Turn around, small cutscene, Make a right here and right again. Step on the pressure plate and fire a grenade. Continue left and right. Get some health. Turn around and heal. Interact with the device. This will clear your hand of the parasite. You need to do this to open the door. However, it will drain your life. Step on the pressure plate. Wait a bit and fire a grenade. More ammo can be found on the right if you run out. Back to the device to get the parasite away one more time. And back into the room to get the key upgrade. Turn around, go back, left, and right. Destroy the parasite again. Turn right, and use the key. Heal a bit. Go back to clear the parasite again. Turn right and through the door. Interact with the device. Move up and press A and exit. The 009 detachment achievement will pop. Turn around and start to walk. It will be a long walk and you are limping. Here, take a right. Use the device. Down the stairs. Slightly left. Up the stairs. Right. Left. 
left. And left down the stairs. Insert the vial in the first device. The 010 fluid flowing within achievement will pop. Turn right and interact with the weird statue and the 011 perception beyond achievement will pop. You can now control two characters. With the first one, move forward and right. Get the key. Turn around, right, and use the key. Press X to switch to the other one. Interact with the weird statue again and carry yourself forward. Step on the pressure plate, continue. And after the cutscene, the 012 fin, probably finish or final, achievement will pop. And that's it guys, 12 achievements, a thousand gamer score for Scorn. Hope it was useful and until next time, stay frosty and extra spicy.